on the other line, the voice, the actual voice of Ninian, not the actual interpretive voice of Ninian, but the actual voice of Ninian, uh, Brianna Neckerbacher. Um, she voices quite a few, but Ninian in particular, say hello if you don't mind. Uh oh. She's on mute. There we are. <laughs> Hi, thank you so much for having me as I choke. <laughs> you, you were just trying to get uh, get Brent to do your voice for you, I see, right? <laughs> <laughs> hey, everybody on Twitch. I'm reading the chat. Virgo Fall. Sazura. What's up, people? It is the true Ninian. You are correct. Let's grin, master. <laughs> <laughs> well, guys, yeah, um, we've got so we've got Brianna on board. Um, she is the voice of Ninian, obviously. Um, she also does the voice of a few other characters from the Fire Emblem uh, Heroes. You will definitely recognize her from, uh, as well as the Fire Emblem Fates games. Uh, Charlotte, as well as uh, Sakura and S. Do you have a voice that you enjoy doing out of all of these? Because that is quite a few voices, different personalities. I assume you have to kind of you know teach yourself to to fulfill there. Course, but a, my personal favorite out of them is Charlotte just because of her personality and her sass level. She's like passed <laughs> out of sass. Charlotte and Sakura are the same person, Hellfire 657. I know your mind is blown. I can't even yes. handle hearing this news. It's I crazy. It. We're learning today a lot of people don't quite realize who all voices who. So, like, they'll know that you do one person, but they don't realize that you do two or three or four so when they're putting all those puzzle pieces together it's like oh my gosh they're all the same people i can build i can build brianna emblem now and heroes and just load my team up with her entirely we've had that hashtag go around a little bit on twitter here and there but it is a thing you can have an entire team of my characters and i like to call it brianna emblem <laughs> So do you play Fire Emblem Heroes then? Do you ever get to bop around as yourself and blow away from that? Because I have an addictive personality, and if I start playing it, I will not have a life. <laughs> you, only you're do I just play. one of all of us then. <laughs> You've stayed away from the dangers of addictive <laughs> games. Ah. Uh. Well, let me ask you this then. Um, so you don't play Heroes, but have you played any of the other games? Are you familiar with how your characters are in terms of the game and the other characters that they sort of interact with? Um, because Fire Emblem is, of course, a big game on sports and connectivity between two, uh, two or more characters. I haven't played any of the Fire Emblem games, but I have played many other games that I've been in, like Battle Chasers and um, Shadowverse and stuff like that. Oh, that's right. You've done Shadowverse too. Um, well, that being said, do you have a voice that you've like just really you know, been able to get into, or just one that you're like, oh man, this personifies me. This is me. Or uh, in general? Yeah, in, in general. I mean, of course, there's Fire Emblem, but you've done you've done a lot more than just this, of course. <laughs> I love people in the chat. Oh my god, you guys are hilarious. Yes, <laughs> Ar Archisis, Shadowverse. Yes, I am Luna. <laughs> you know, I know this. Everybody else knows this. You're the only person that doesn't know this. <laughs> um, I don't know. Like, there's like characters I enjoy playing, but I don't know if I would necessarily say that I personify them. Like, I love Rem, but I'm not a demon. So. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I'm not like a maid in a castle, so there's like a little bit of a stretch there, but I can identify with her lack of self-confidence and her comparing herself to her sister and, and little nuanced personality bits like for sure. But uh, Rem and um, Izaki from Little Missy are two <laughs> favorites for me. Yes, Zazara! Rem! <laughs> Rem! Yes! I feel like I should just link your BTVA in here so that way people can realize who uh, who you do the voices for because I mean I knew I, I could recognize a couple of them Elaine from uh, Seven Deadly Sins I recognized in a heartbeat. The dead one I love playing Elaine. Elaine and Bond need their own spinoff show. Like, stats. They need a whole spinoff movie I'm sure. We need that full quality production value. They're just the greatest OTP ever of all time of anything. 
Well, speaking of OTPs, do you... I mean, you've, you've done a bunch of animes as well as games. Do you watch any of the animes that you've done voices for? Like, have you really dived into yeah, it? Yeah, I've, I've so. watched every anime um, I've done voices for, except for a, a couple of ones where I was only minor voices in. Um, so I haven't watched Ano Anohana yet, and I haven't watched... Um, and um, Iron Blood Orphans or whatever that, is. and I haven't watched uh, Ber Berserk. Um, oh, I'll personally recommend Anohana. I don't. I, apologize. I know. I'm just not ready to like. At the end of it. Afterwards. <laughs> it's a it's a full on cry fest. No, no more spoilers. Those people. Those are so cute, Brave Blitz. You guys are. Yeah, we've awesome. had We've had some. For, uh, yeah, Brave Bliss has been here since the beginning. We've been at this for um, about five hours today so far, and we've had a really, really good turnout. You can see in the upper right our donation tracker is honestly well ahead of where I thought we would be because this is a 48 hour event. And uh, look how far we are now 10% into the show. Um, speaking of uh, doing stuff for the show, um, do you do your work for different recording studios? Or is it all kind of like through your agency? I don't really know. Every time I talk to a different voice actor, I learn it's a little bit different for everybody and how they do their work. Absolutely. So um, I do have a few different agents across the United States. I do not have a Los Angeles agent, but I do have relationships with casting directors and they take my work and they trust my work. So I get auditions directly from them. So like for Bang Zoom, um, mommy at Bang Zoom thinks of certain roles. She hears something in the voice, like, oh, that would be Brianna. And she'll send me stuff. So I audition directly through casting directors for uh, anime and video games. Aye. Sorry, I just I just saw Ninian get shot. No. By Brent, come on. You can't let this end this way. That's right, there's still a few more Ninians on listen, board. Listen, there's a lot of Ninians. You don't have to worry about them, okay? They're all, they're all good Ninians. They, you know, only one Ninian matters. You know, the one that's in the chat right now talking to you, doing an interview, that's the only Ninian that matters. The rest of these Ninians, yeah, they're all expendable. Oh my gosh. Wait, um, oh, so uh, going back to what you said a minute ago, so do you go on site when you do your, uh, your auditions and such, or do you submit to them voice work from a studio that you just record and like mail out or, e or email out to them or oh i have a home studio in my house and that's where i'm i am right now i'm just at my, at my microphone and uh, i'll get the audition and i download uh the sides which are is this and uh, video references if it's an anime and i record it in you know an audio program audacity is great it's free uh it's exactly what i needed skills um, and then I save it and I send it off and I'll, I find out within, I found out that I've booked something in like two days is the soonest I've ever heard of some, heard something like months later. The box. Behold my power. So you kind of, you have for your own mental sanity, you kind of have to forget about it because you drive yourself crazy. And even before, like say for example, with be the beginning, I thought for sure I had not booked Yuna and I got super depressed and down on myself. And the next day I got an email saying I booked it. So it's just like, there's no reason to get yourself worked up over it. You never know, you know? Man, oh, so is, gosh, I'm thinking about Yuna now. Um, is there anything else that you're, that you can let us know that you might be in the works with? Oh, well, I mean, I can only talk about things that are announced. Uh, a couple things that are coming up that aren't out yet. Death End Request is going to be really sick. That's, um, yeah, this is the people that did Mary Skelter. It's very dark. It's very trippy. It gets wild. Oh, my gosh. It's one of the more fun roles I've ever gotten to play. It's really got to, like, kind of lose my mind and get crazy with it. Um, I don't <laughs> want to give too many spoilers, but... Um, and then recent things that just came out, um, obviously Seven Deadly Sins Season 2 and um, Kyria Knights 4 and um, Labyrinth of Refrain is out now too. Oh yeah, I got. Um, I'm, I can't wait to play that game in plastic. I'm just waiting to open it and play it over the holiday. Well, Fire 657 has a really good question. 
Yeah, um, looks like Hellfire 657 wants to know, is there any major difference between voice acting for anime versus in a video game? Ah, so what the ma major difference for anime versus video game, you get, have a lot more freedom. Um, I just have the lines on the script and I can just say them the way that I would say them as an actor acting, reacting to somebody just giving me the line before me. Anime, you have the video reference up in front of you and you have to match the lip flaps to look exactly like the lip flaps are that were already animated before you. Yeah, so many more restrictions to it. And you have to act on top of all those technical things. It's, it's very complicated. So is it harder when you're doing something that's, say, coming from Japan, and then you have to try Absolutely. to match your lips with it in a different, you know, a whole different language? Do you, is, is that like a, a really common problem, or is there like a pretty simple way to, that you've trained yourself to get past that? Because I imagine that'd be really difficult. Yeah, so as, since I've been doing it for a few years now, absolutely it is a technical skill you do develop over time. So I am better at it than I used to be. But I don't think anybody that's in my industry go ahead and say it's easy. It is very difficult and you do kind of have to be you know, very focused and present and you it takes work, you know? Yeah, I imagine that. So how long have you been doing this in total? Like, where, did you do this as a child? I don't have your full history up or is this something that you just dove into as you got older and realized wow this would be something really interesting to jump into or how's so, that up for you? Yeah, so when I didn't know that I was going to end up you know being a voice actress in particular when I was a kid I did have a tape recorder and I would go around and I did this like I don't even know why but I pretended to be Barbara Walters and I would interview people Oh I would be the interviewee, and I would be like, and I would put on old lady voices, alien voices, all this random stuff happened. I think that was the beginning of my voiceover career, <laughs> randomly. Well, that's amazing, and it just it just kind of fell in like an opportunity, just hit you, sort of yeah. unexpectedly. Or did everything like was it planned? Did you really try to make it work out? Oh, I had no idea I was going to act at all. I went to school for fashion design. Um, and it just came back full circle. I quit fashion and I fell in on camera acting and then I saw a voiceover uh, casting and I thought, oh, voiceover, oh my God, that'd be so much fun. And I booked it and it just kind of took off from there. Wow. So you never really know what's gonna pick and stick. That's really cool that it just sort of yeah, turned really. it. A um, couple of other questions, if you don't mind, I'm gonna turn to chat again. Um, Gregster, 1988 wants to know what your favorite role in the history of your whole career that's pretty broad but i don't know do you have one that you just remember doing from forever ago or just recently that you're like man i dig it just, i love it it takes me back to you know it's going to be either chizaki alone the sea or rem from Re reason they're both so epic and for different reasons um i mean i don't feel like anything else i've done can compare to those two roles. Those two roles just emotionally uh, affected me so much. And I, it's hard to choose. You know, I don't feel like people want to hear that, you know, I could even possibly like Chizaki more than Rem. Like, people don't hear that. But um, it's very tough. I mean, Rem, uh, Chizaki was my first anime ever. It's also like, you know, for just Miyazaki film and the music is insane. It's really in-depth dramatic love story um so it is very special and different in that regard to ReZero and ReZero is more fun because of the demon mode rem and of course she does have that emotional richness and all those levels to her personality also so I feel like they're pretty tied for different reasons gosh I couldn't even imagine it's you have to take on more than just you know the voice of the character you're you're right when you're saying that you had to act it and it's definitely more than just uh, so. use your imagination to really um pretend you're this person you know first person like i am rem and i'm living in this world and that's how you really get into character to kind of imagine yourself in these situations it's very difficult do you have to do that when you're not in front of the microphone to kind of prepare yourself to you know jive into that mindset that is okay oh, i'm going I in really, really don't. Um, I'm a very 
improv type person. I like being in the moment and I'm very go with the flow. And I find if I try to do anything else, it kind of trips me up. So I like to just be in the moment and I get into it and it's time to get into it. Oh man, you can imagine just flipping a switch and boom, you're Charlotte. <laughs> <laughs> can, can you do that though? Like jump from one character to another then and just kind of like could you could you go in a, in a, in a in not not a sentence but like over the course of a minute just be like all right I'm Ninian now I'm Charlotte and oh, of course yeah I mean absolutely that's nuts um <laughs> gosh I'm, I'm envious I'm jealous I wish I had that talent uh-huh. um do you mind if I ask another question uh, Glow Stick of Destiny wants to know are there any other voice actors that you've made friends with through uh, FE voice acting. And really quick, I want to say, um, I've taken a look at the Unlocked app, and I've seen that you do quite a bit through that. Um, mm-hmm. yeah. David, David Vincent and uh, Bryce Pappenbrook, I heard, are pretty uh, big with that, and I just recently dove into it myself and see this. So cool, it's like Periscope, but for, you know, talent in the anime and gaming, and I've seen you on there. I've seen a bunch of other people posting up. Um, it's it's really neat, and, and I'm assuming that you, um, you've probably done that longer, and of course I've had the app, I just got it about a week ago. But uh, is, is that something that you've done? Like you've been able to make friends with either people, either in the community, artists or voice actors, or just other people through stuff like that? Uh, you know, I'm friends with uh, many voice actors. I'm really good friends with Ryan Bartley and Kaylee Mills and Sean, obviously, but I'm also really good friends with uh, all the Erica's, you know, Erica Mendez, Erica Lindbeck, Erica Harlicker. Um, <laughs> there are a lot of Erica's. We all hang out. We're all friends. We all love each other and support each other. We're all, you know. Uh-oh. So I have a My question audio. for you. Just, up, oh, audio's down, or are we? we she's, are you still with us, Eric, uh, Brianna? I'm right here. Okay. Oh, cool. Sorry. My, I have a question for you, uh, which is, I don't want to say a selfish question, but a more self-interest question, which is, how are you appreciating Ninian Emblem? Do you, do you like it? We made this specifically for you. We figured you might like it. <laughs> hey, you got. Wait, are you mean the multiple Ninian thing? Everything is not supposed to be Ninian. <laughs> Okay, that's freaking amazing. I was like, is this <laughs> thing? Yeah, no, we we made we had this made especially because we knew that you'd be joining us, and we figured it'd be it'd be really funny if uh, you were to come on and see the characters and, and enjoy the chat and stuff. But everyone was just Ninian. <laughs> it's not just I, the I, characters; it's the enemies. It's everyone's name. Good guy. Yeah, I love it so much. I don't even like. How do I capture this forever? Oh, don't question. worry, we'll have VODs of everything on our channels, which we'll link soon. So that way oh, you can safe. rewatch it. Oh, well, we already have oh it saved. Thank you. Thank you. Our audio man, John, is here. Uh, he's also going to be playing later in the event, but he's here. He's He saved the day on my stream multiple times. So, thank you, John. And I, I don't know how, uh, how into playing games in your spare time you are, but if you ever do want to give this game a try um we can certainly help you acquire a version of it and actually give it a shot and you can interact and experience it for yourself okay um, cool thank this you will, this would this will go out to i guess everyone else too because i've seen a few people in the chat say hey how can i play this craziness of a game and we'll uh if, if you dm us mods we'll uh we'll help you out with trying to get a copy of it yourself or get a version of it that'll work for you um it's more to it than just you know here's a game but we'll do what we can to try to help you out yeah it's all the whole legal thing too, which is uh, <laughs> right. right. There's limit. Yeah. There's limits on, of course, what we can plug out with this. Um, I guess one other question, and then speaking of legal uh, matters, are <laughs> there any sort of issues that you ever run into in voice acting that you feel like just make things a little bit more tricky for what it is you need to do? Um, I don't um, know if it's your agency or a team ever. Like, do, does your agency really prevent you from going out and trying to take on roles yourself or that sort of thing? Uh, no, just there's certain um, companies that are very protective over their characters, so you can't really... I don't really have the freedom to go out and pretend to be Sakura and make funny videos as her and do stuff like that. The can is very protective of their properties. I can't really do anything with that. Uh, just little things like that, you know what I mean? Okay, that's pretty simple stuff. Or pr- pretty expected, I guess would be the better way to put it. 
like with um ReZero, Crunchyroll and everybody that's involved with that are really kind of open-minded and they're really cool. So, you know, I cosplayed as her. I'm releasing a song as her. Um, there's just some restrictions with uh, titles. That makes sense. Um, a couple of other questions and then I'll let you get back to um, resting your voice. I really appreciate you giving us this much time. Um, Mr. Peach in chat wants to know what the casting process for Heroes is like especially doing you know so many characters in the same game yeah so what's interesting about that is obviously i had already gotten charlotte and um, sakura prior to the heroes i didn't audition for anything else um i just got booked on heroes and i walked in and they gave me characters so i had no idea who i was playing or what i was playing so i didn't even audition for it oh wow are there since the game is out are you able to talk about any characters that you might be voicing in the future or is that a little different as far as the characters go? Yeah, that's something i don't know if i'm allowed to at this time okay all right no push um i guess one last i don't know if you would be up for but a couple of people did request that you say a line in dialogue. Are you allowed to do that if we request a line from one of the characters you wished before? Let's do it. Uh, let's see. So I've got uh, Zanny P saying, Nils, please come home in your Ninian voice. Uh, if you're unfamiliar, Nils is your little brother. Nils, please come home. Oh my. <laughs> that, that was really impressive. That was very impressive. I say that while I'm playing the gameplay. We don't have either character yet. Uh, Nils is also Ninian, so it's gonna be kind of confusing. But we're gonna just pretend that they're both, you know, the brother and sister, not oh. sister and sister. <laughs> <laughs> there's um, there's another one uh, from Dragon Install eighty six wants to know if in your est voice can you say, "Am I crazy or crazy lucky?" Woo. Crazy or crazy lucky? Woo! Oh my gosh, you just turned this on like Impressive. a switch. Crazy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> very, very well done. Very well done. Uh, can we get some? I, I don't have the chat open right now, but get some clappers or claps or whatever. Pog chants, you know, just roll whatever your favorite emote is. It's my class. I hear someone pounding on their keyboard. <laughs> oh, I, I was holding Fish's talk. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I heard a clap for that. Anyway, uh, thank you so much for joining us. I, I know I haven't been really talking. I've been trying to focus on the gameplay, and um, so that way there's something in the background and things like that. But um, I do really appreciate you coming on and helping out so much. Um, it, oh, it really means sure. a lot to me. Absolutely. And if you guys like have any other questions, I know there's a lot of questions in the chat that didn't get answered. Please hit me up on Twitter at Brianna Noel K, and I'm on the Unlock app as well. Uh, Brianna K and on Instagram Brianna Knickerbocker. Awesome, thank you, awesome. and if we definitely will do that. Uh, I'm sure many people will definitely do that. We'll also have a link in the chat. Um, it's already been made. We already have a link in the chat being made to that links to your stuff. Uh, thank you. So, yeah. All right. Is there um, anything before we go? So much. You have no idea. Yeah, this is your second year assisting. Last year, if um, anyone was watching the Extra Life show last year, Brianna had actually signed uh, some artwork that had been provided to us for giveaways, and I don't know if anyone's here that had received it. I know people have shuffled names, but uh, that was awesome. That was a really big um, attention grabber last year, and then having you here, I can tell you as soon as I mentioned that I was even contacting you for involvement this time, I had people saying, oh my gosh, if you could get her to come on stream, that would be amazing. Aw, I'm more than happy to. Oh my gosh, anything for a good cause. Thank you so much. Um, is there anything else you want to plug out or shout out before we, uh, we wrap up today then? That's, uh, that's it. Hit me up on uh, Twitter and uh, Instagram, Brianna Knickerbocker. All right. Awesome. All right, well, thank you, Brianna, so much for coming onto the stream with us. Thank you. I appreciate it. Okay. Bye. 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 See ya. Alright guys, that was Brianna Knickerbocker. She is 